Uh, this is the second part of the video clip that I prepared to discuss the blog by uh, a gentleman by the name of Ray Olson at run.com uh, that I've seen recently. Uh, here's the situation. Uh, you may have experienced this thing before, but uh, I would like to put some uh, uh, concrete example behind it, uh, which follows the, 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 the blog's uh, explanation. So I have two folders. One of them is called UUID1. And the other one is called UID2. Uh, in UID1, which is on the left side, there's a simple part, which is just a block called part one. And there's nothing in the UID2. It's right here. You can see it's empty. So let me start. Let me open up the part one right there. Now I'm going to save this file with the same name in the second folder. So file, save management, save as. Uh, let's go to that other folder, uh, that other folder, which was called UUID2, right there, same name, in that second folder, and we closed. All right, so I'm going to close both of these. Let me go and start one of them, say the first one, it's right there, this is UUID1, I open it up, remember this was with the same name stored in the or saved in the second folder. So now let me go and try the identical thing that was saved in UID2. You get this message saying that you cannot do it. Basically, what's happening is saying that if you have a file with the same name, although it may be copies of each other, uh, you cannot open them side by side. Okay, so in fact, this is what uh, that blog is saying. When when saving an existing file in another directory without changing the file name, which means that you have two now two files. Uh, note that uh, you can only open one of these files at a time. Okay, so what is the situation if we actually want to avoid this? Although you may decide that okay, I'm not going to do something like that, but let me show you the way to fix this. So let me close this. I go back here. In fact, I'm going to delete that. So we are back to square one. Right there. Okay. So uh, we go to Katia right there. And we say file. Not new. Obviously, if you start new, we're going to get, you know, basically a blank Katia file that we have to uh, build our model new from, new from, not new, new from. Then it says, okay, where is that new from file located? Well, so we go to UI, U, UUID1 and get our cat part one, okay? So, you say okay, and now we're gonna save this thing in that second folder. So file, save management, save as, in that new folder, which was UUID2. Notice that we're not changing the name. The name is the same, and it's going to go there. And we say OK. Now I'm going to close everything, because I want to show you you can open these things side by side. So this is the first one, UID1. There we are. Now you go to the other one. When I clicked on this thing before, it didn't work. But now it's going to work, and you can, you can put them side by side. Obviously, they're identical but they're treated as different files. The UUID refers to uh, uh, unique, uh, let me see now, uh, it's a unique, uh, universally unique identifier. So not only file names, if the file names, file names may be the same, but the process that we did assigns different UUIDs to it, and therefore they can be put side by side. For example, I can go here, and I can change this thing, I don't know, to different size and save it. 
and close it and close it. Now we go back here. This is the original part, or this is the second part. You see now which one is which. Uh, let's make sure we get these correctly. Uh, this is the Let me open this up. This is in UID uh, 2. And this is in UID 1. And notice that they are different. I don't have that problem anymore. Although I don't recommend that you, you know, if you, don't, if you have to, unless it really is absolutely necessary, use the same file names. But you can use the same file names. And you can open them side by side as long as you change the UIDs for them. And this blog and the present video actually showed you how to do it.